Hello, good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to the English class. Today is Tuesday, November 3rd, 2020. As you can see, we're in a new month, November, right? Well, first of all, let me ask you about the weather to start the class. How is the weather like today? Perhaps could be windy. Or sunny. Or rainy. Or cloudy. Today we have a windy day. Windy, that's why I'm wearing my jacket. Okay? Now we are going to ask you about your emotions. How do you feel today? Shy or sad or very tired or surprised or angry. I'm sure that today you feel happy, happy. Remember that if you have a positive attitude, we are going to learn lots of English. Now, we are going to review our, well, to develop our language and communication. How? Today we are not going to review the vocabulary. We are going to start with a very special activity. This activity is a reading. The title says, Little Tiger Gets Ready for School. Here, we have a beautiful tiger. He's waking up. He is in his bedroom. Then he put on his slippers and went to the bathroom. He liked to take a shower. Oh, it's a mess. He's going to take a shower. He used the soap, the shampoo to take a shower. Then he's wet, but he used the towel to dry off by himself. Then he took the toothbrush and the toothpaste to brush his teeth. After that, he goes back to the bedroom and he put on his socks, his tennis shoes, and he combs his hair. Then he's ready to go to the school. But let's listen the CD. Let's listen the CD. This is track number 38. 38 in your See this resource. Let me look for the track. Track 38. Narrative Reader. Little Tiger gets ready for school. Brush. Oops! I brush my teeth 
all by myself. I go into my bedroom and I get dressed for school. I comb my hair. Look at me. I'm ready to go. Mommy and Daddy, good morning. Wake up. It's time to go to school. Look at me. I can get ready all by myself. Very good. Well, according to the reading, we have many questions. For example, in the first question, we are going to ask you about the little tiger. What is he doing? Yes, of course, he's taking a shower or taking a bath. Next, he drives up by himself. He's trying with the towel. What is Little Tiger doing? Little Tiger is brushing his teeth. He used the toothbrush and the toothpaste. What is Little Tiger doing in this page? Little Tiger is combing his hair with the red comb. Also, he has to pay attention to pick up the clothes and get the bed, make the bed, dry the towel. Now, as you can see, little tiger gets ready for school all by himself, right? Well, at home, you can read the story again, listening the track number 38. Then we have another activity. We are going to look for our student's book. Student's book. This is page number 35. 35. So everybody bring a pencil because we are going to draw. Look and draw. Look and draw. Little Tiger is taking a shower. What does he need to take a shower? Of course he needs the soap and the shampoo. So please, everybody at home, draw, draw the soap and the shampoo. Picture number one, oh, sorry, picture number two. Little Tiger is wet, so he needs to dry all himself. He used the towel, towel to dry up by himself. The next picture, picture number three. Here we have little tiger brushing his teeth. So he needs the toothbrush and the toothpaste. So please take your pencil or colors to draw the toothpaste. And the fourth picture, that is the last. Little tiger will comb his hair. So, you are going to draw a comb. Okay? Comb. Draw a comb. Well, according to this, if we finish, we can close our books and continue with the next activity. Here we go with our language notebook. Language notebook. We are going to open, open and look for these instructions. Draw and retell the story. Draw and retell the story. Here, we are going to make a drawing about the little tiger story. Your favorite part, or little tiger brushing his teeth, or taking a shower, 
or putting on his slippers, or maybe when he's ready to go to school with his backpack. Look for your favorite part of the story, or maybe you can uh, draw the little tiger and his blooming items. Okay? When you finish, when you finish the activity, we have another exercise. We have here for you different grooming items. As you can see, we have four tot brush. Which of them is different? Different. Do you remember? Similar, same, and different? Which of them is different? Because we are going to cross out the different. It has pink, 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 purple. So, it will be the different. Cross out the different. Another example. We have towel, towel, brush and towel. Which is the different object? Yes, of course, the brush is the different. And the last exercise. We have four combs and a shampoo. Which object is different? Yes, of course, the shampoo is the different one. Well, very good. If you remember or recognize the different item, you will be able to do your homework. But first, we have to look for our mathematic books. Mathematic book. And we are going to work in page number 22. 22. Look at the first drawing. We can see a candy game. How many candy games? One, one. So you have to color one candy cane. Two stars, two stars. And the tree, the pine tree. One, one. Okay? After that, the homework, homework. Cross out the different. This is page number 23. And the title say characteristics. Here we have triangle, triangle, square, triangle. Which is the different? Yes, of course, the different is the Square. The second exercise. Oh my God, all of them are apples, but one is different. Yes, the green, because most of them are red, right? Then we have here baskets, including oranges. We have a pair of oranges in those trios, and here we have one. So, this is the different one. And of course, we have here some circles. Big, 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 and one is a small. Cross out the small. Then, we are going to make or continue the sequence at the bottom. And the last is our page number 24. Here we have Christmas trees. Christmas trees. Here we have the number one. And we are going to color one Christmas ornaments. One. Then you have to trace the correct, the number one. Here, at the bottom of the page, we have the number two. And you are going to color two stars, of course. Then you have to trace the numbers, and that's it.
That's all for today. Let's start singing to say goodbye to the class. Today. So, listen. English class is over.